Hello guys, Cyril here and this is part 2 of my video showing you how to solder uh, high power connectors XC60 and uh, EC5 and now I will be speaking about EC5 connectors. They are also polarized um, in, in the way as XT60 so you can connect them uh, in a different way or you can connect uh, two batteries together uh, so they are very beneficial in this way. Uh, they can also hold a higher amperage than uh, XT60 connectors. Uh, they are rated to I think about uh, 90 amps but I've successfully tested them for 100 amps and they hold pretty nicely. And first let's thin um, the hollow uh, female parts of the connectors before we start preparing the wires. Secure the connector in something like a vise uh, uh, or a small clamp because it uh, will get very hot. And uh, use a high power power use a high power uh, soldering iron. I use a 80 watt uh, iron and apply solder to the inside of the cup while heating uh, the connector from the outside. Uh, fill uh, the cup of the connector about halfway with solder. Next step uh, is to strip and prepare uh, one of the wires uh, from the battery. Uh, I've already told you in the first part uh, that it's very important to do only one wire at a time in order not to short them. Tuck the other wires away from you, skew the wire and try not to get burned. Hold uh, the connector and disorder the connector from the wire. In case you have a battery uh, or something else uh, with wires without connectors, uh, you'll have to strip them uh, and thin the end of the wires. Uh, you don't have to strip a large uh, portion of the wire, it's usually enough to have only about uh, four millimeters or a quarter of an inch. Use your soldering iron uh, to flatten and to make um, not to flatten, but to make uh, the tip of the wire more round so that it um, actually fits inside the connector. Uh, now the first uh, lid of the battery is ready. Put aside an old connector, secure a new one. Uh, what we'll do now is ensure a proper solder joint. And before everything is cool to the touch, we'll uh, unclamp uh, this post, align it uh, with the positive um, side of the nylon uh, connector, insert it, and use uh, a flathead screwdriver actually to push uh, this terminal inside the connector until it clicks. Um, the click is very obvious and the connector uh, the end is almost flush uh, to the upper side um, of the nylon housing. Uh, it's, it can be quite tricky and you'll have to apply quite a lot of force to the connector, but uh, in the end, if you don't have a long uh, end of the wire stripped and you solder everything correctly, you won't need um, heat shrink tubing on this EC5 connector. This is a very uh, big advantage. Uh, let's make a solder joint. Apply heat uh, to the connector and if you have a uh, big flat uh, pointed uh, soldering iron, you can apply heat at the same time to the connector and to the tip of the wire. Uh, apply heat and when uh, the solder melts, push uh, the connector uh, onto the wire. You can see I have a little problem here. There is a little bit too much uh, solder on the outside of the connector and you'll he have to clean this up. Shake off excessive solder from your soldering iron and lightly touch the blob on the outside of the connector to remove it. Repeat it several times uh, so that there is no uh, extra solder on the outside of the connector because if there is, uh, it won't actually slide inside the plastic housing. That's why you don't have to pull, uh, to fill the pool inside the connector all the way to the top because uh, it will make a, a bigger blob on the outside of the connector and make your life uh, trickier inserting the connector inside its nylon housing. Hit it a little bit with your soldering iron so that it uh, is nice and hot. Don't forget that uh, this is the positive one and you'll insert it into the positive side uh, of the plastic housing. 
so insert it inside the housing push it and use a flat headed screwdriver to push it all the way inside so after uh, a little bit more pushing i finally uh, slid um, the positive wire into uh, with its uh, terminal into the uh, nylon housing it uh, looks quite nice uh, without any gaps so you don't need any heat shrink tubing and now let's strip uh, the heat shrink tubing off uh, the negative wire desolder the um, bullet connector and solder the connector for the EC5 and here you have it uh, EC5 connector perfectly soldered to the uh, ATWG wires of this battery. I uh, hope I helped you um, learn how to solder EC5 connectors. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.